Ever feel like fudge, but don't think you can have it because you can't eat dairy? Well, we have an option for you. All you need is some dairy-free condensed milk, and if you can't find it, we make our own. So check out this link here on how to make it. You can customize what sugar you use and even make this fudge completely sugar-free if you like. All we're gonna do is take one cup of sweetened condensed milk. We used our coconut sugar sweetened recipe here. And you're gonna add one cup of your choice of chocolate chips. We again used coconut sweetened chocolate chips just cause that's what we have available. And you're gonna microwave it in 30 second bursts until it's nice and melted and smooth. It took ours a minute and 30 seconds, so that's three intervals to get it nice and smooth, but yours might vary based on what ingredients you use, so just keep an eye out and keep going till it's nice and smooth like this. And that's it. Once it's all melted, you're gonna pour it into a loaf pan, or you can double the batch size and put it in an eight by eight pan. Then it needs to chill to set up. So we're gonna pop it in the fridge or the freezer. I prefer freezer because it's faster, but either way, whatever you have space for and let it chill till it's set. Then we're gonna cut it into pieces. I like to cut it into little, almost one by one inch cubes, just so it's very decadent. So it's nice to have a small piece. And if you won't feel like more, you can always go for a second, but it's nice to have that option of just a nice little sweet treat. And that's our simple two ingredient, pretty much two minute fudge recipe. But you can take it from here and you can add all kinds of fun mix-ins. If you stick around, we're gonna turn this into Rocky Road fudge. This first part I was making at our bakery, which is peanut free. So I packed up this fudge to bring home to remelt so we could add the peanuts at home. But feel free if you have a peanut allergy to sub out the peanuts and add whatever nut you like or whatever crunchy mix-in. Almonds would be great here too. So if you wanna make a special flavor of fudge, you don't even need to pour it in the pan to set, just jump right along from melted fudge to adding your mix-ins. But because I brought it home, I have to remelt it. I popped it into the microwave. It only took one 30 second burst to get it back to its good old melty smooth state where we can add our mix-ins. We're gonna mix in one cup of peanuts. I like to order organic peanuts. I get it from the brand You Pick, which is a Canadian brand out of Montreal. You can get a one kilo bag off Amazon for a pretty decent rate. Then we're gonna add two cups of marshmallows. We're using Dandy's Vegan Marshmallows. I like these, not so much because they're vegan, but because they use better ingredients. We're gonna add two cups of marshmallows and then we're just gonna stir it in. I found what worked best here was sort of a folding motion with pulling the spatula from the bottom where you're gonna find most of the liquid fudge and then folding that over the top of all your solid ingredients. And once you've got it all nicely mixed, we're gonna pour that into a prepared loaf pan. This time, instead of cutting our parchment nicely in the corners, we did the crumpled trick. Some people also wet the back of the parchment paper so it sticks to your pan, but whatever way you like best. We also sometimes like to use office supply clips. You just gotta make sure that they're fully metal and we use those to clip the parchment to the side so you don't need a little helper like I had to hold the parchment open when you pour. And then just like last time, we're going to pop this in the fridge or freezer till set, then we're gonna cut it into bite-sized little pieces. Now the regular two ingredient fudge is delicious and super decadent, but these two mix-ins create a next level Rocky Road fudge. Or feel free to get creative and add your own mix-ins. Possibilities are endless. 